everyone. Welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. And I'm Cardwell. And today we have a brand new deck from the Alice Origins 3. We're playing our boy Rizard in Sanguine Offerings and I'm super excited for it because black green is my favorite colors in all card games because it just does the one thing of, of the life and death. That's Look, what it's for. It's a lot of value. Yeah, of value. In value city. But before we get into it guys, we just want to remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. See what you like, see what you don't like. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support and we greatly appreciate it. With that, let's delve into the Sanguine Offerings. So, it is Rizard and he is the new Alice Origins 3, one of the new rulers. He's black green, he's got Stranger 10. So same Stranger rules apply. Uh, green and two black for judgment and green black energize. Then his abilities, like the other ones, they trigger off of his regalia or any darkness regalia. But you choose one, and if his regalia is death size, you choose two. Choose two cards from your stranger deck at random and put them into your graveyard. Each player banished as a resonator. Put a resonator from your graveyard into your hand, or you pay zero to do judgment. So, it's a little different than the other ones because his dudes go to the graveyard, and you get them back from the graveyard doing silly stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so his are a little more tricky, but they do really well for what they do. And his judgment side is a 10-10, he is a vampire. Enter. Put the top four cards of your deck into your graveyard. Then you may put a resonator from your graveyard into the field. If you do, it gains darkness in addition to its other attributes and vampire in addition to its other races. Jeez. His God's Art. Blood Revolution is a black and a green. For each vampire you control and starting from the one with the highest attack to the one with the lowest attack, target a resonator your opponent controls. Vampires get plus four plus four until the end of turn, then each of them deals damage equal to its attack to its chosen target. You may choose the same target multiple times with different vampires. Ridiculous. So, his God's Art is pretty pretty interesting, because you have to have a lot of dudes to make it really well worth it, but it's still pretty good, because you just be like, hey, cool, I have my Rizard and this other guy to be like, hey, kill your dude, kill your dude, yeah. and you just get to clear the board. It's kind of a one-sided board clear, which is really nice. Yeah. And he automatically brings a dude in to make it a vampire, so, hey, why not? Yeah, exactly. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, that is it for his J Ruler side. It's pretty sweet. I'm excited to see what he can do. And then the strangers we got for it. First up is the Black Wizard. It's one black for a 6-6 six, six with Bane. You pay zero, produce a black. Play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn and only if this card is in your graveyard. <laughs> He's got a lot of stipulations, but hey, it's okay. Because you're going to put him in the graveyard with Rizard. And then get free mana. Yeah, just free mana right? every <laughs> yeah, turn. Sweet, it's super ridiculous. And if you're able to get both of them in there, then that's double mana. Oh real yeah. Quick. The next stranger we got is Faust, the promising warrior, which is probably one of the best ones that he has. Yeah. Two green and two black and one for a 14-14 warrior. He's got Bane and he's got Drain. You pay black, put a promise counter on target resonator. You control, play this ability only if this card is in your graveyard. Whenever a resonator with a promise counter is on it is put into a graveyard from the field, put this card from your graveyard into the field. So this dude, yes, he costs five to play, but he really shouldn't ever be played for five. It's just for one. Yeah, one mana, you put it on a dude, and then when that dude dies, you get to get this guy back for free. Sweet. Every time. Like, even if Faust dies, he doesn't get put in the exile zone or anything. So he's just like, hey, what's up? I'm back again. And with Faust, since you can have two of them, you can play Rizard's Death Scythe and get both of them in the graveyard and then just put two Promise Counters out and then get two dudes for free. Yeah. Just 14-14 uh, Drain, Bane yeah. dudes. Yeah, thanks. Ridiculous. Next up is Athenia, the Windmaster. She has one green for a 6-6. Six, six. Enter. Put up to two target cards in any removed area in their owner's graveyard. And you win this card is put into a graveyard from the field. You may pay a green. If you do, choose a card from your Stranger deck at random and put it into your hand. Banish this card, target stranger, or regalia gains barrier. So she has a multitude of reasons. She can help you get a free stranger to your hand when she dies, and she's there to protect your strangers. Mostly to, to protect strangers and regalia is why she's here. Yeah. Next up is Jabberwock, the chaotic disaster. And this dude has a wall of text, so I gotta get to where I can read him. Yeah. He's almost as bad as Satan, or maybe is <laughs> as bad as Satan. Yeah. Pretty much. He's pretty ridiculous. But. Okay, bear with me. He is a green, black, and one for an 8-8 magical beast. Enter. You choose one. Your opponent reveals the top card of their deck. They reveal their hand and discard all cards with the same cost as the revealed card. Seems good. Or, 
They reveal the top card of their deck. Then destroy all non-magic stone, non j rule entities they control with the same cost as the revealed card. Or, your opponent reveals the top card of their deck. Each player reveals their hand and discards all cards with the same cost as the revealed card. Then each player destroys all non-magic stone, non j rule entities they control with the same cost. So, the first two are only on them. The last one is on everyone, but you can clear the board if you need to. So, don't be afraid to use that if you have to, because you're playing Graveyard Recursion, you don't care if some of your dudes die, yeah. or if some of your cards get discarded. Because, I mean, you just need to. Yeah, exactly. D just to be able to do a double whammy on them, pretty yeah. much, while you uh, recover with your stuff. Yeah, he's pretty silly. I'm really excited to see what he can do, because I don't know, it's kind of a weird card, yeah. and I like weird cards, so we'll see. Next up is Shade. It's a black and one for a 6-6 Bane. And enter, your opponent banishes a resonator, and once the card is put into a graveyard from the field, your opponent banishes a resonator. So, we're gonna kill all the dudes with all the dudes. Yeah. Seems really good. Yeah. Alright, of course, the first uh, resonator of the deck is Mikage Sudro. Uh, three black and green, or black, black, green, black, <laughs> is why it's on the card. It's a 12-12 flying precision, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. But, when resonator deals damage by this card, is put in the graveyard this turn. Put it under the field under your control. Awesome. It gains darkness in addition to its other attributes and of course a vampire in addition to its other races. So hey, that helps. And also super powerful. Mm -hmm. Remove a stranger resonator in your graveyard from the game. Uh, this card gains eternal until the end of turn. And then enter, you may put a pay any amount of life. This card deals that much damage to target resonator your opponent's controls. Opponent controls, so yeah. So, super solid. Come to play, kill that dude. Oh, I get that dude back, thanks. Yeah, he's kind of ridiculous, because he helps with Rizard, because you get a lot of vampires. And his enter trigger, or not his enter trigger, his vanish trigger, yeah. can be negated with your Athenia as a stranger. Because oh. she comes in and play and returns a dude that's removed back to the graveyard. So you're like, cool, let's do free Eternals. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And he just gets to be like, hey, I'm going to kill all of your things, and they're vampires. Mine. And Sweet. The fact that he has precision, he's like, that guy's mine. <laughs> yeah, he's I want mine. that one. And I'm gonna take him. Yeah. Next up is Mikage Reya. It is one black for a 4 4 quickness flying vampire. Enter, search your deck for a darkness card and put it into your graveyard, then shuffle your deck. Vampires you control gain drain. Whenever this card is banished as an additional cost of a mage art or by an effect of a mage art, put this card from your graveyard into your hand. So, essentially in this deck, this is a free banish card. Yeah. Because that's what we're going to be using her mostly for. And she is a vampire to give you other other vampires drain, which is kind of cool, but it's not really necessary. You, well, with Sudro, right? You may, so he's a vampire, so you whatever life you pay, you gain that life back. Yeah. Because he deals the damage. Yeah. So that's super cute. Yeah, it gets pretty gross when she's in play because she's, she's a really strong one drop. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a 4-4, but I'm, it, I don't care. It does, it does a lot for you. You're going to be second this lady every time, every single time for and free. it's a flyer. Yeah. Like, why not? Yeah, 4-4 four, four flying drain? Sure, why not? All right, a returning champion is Cat Ninja Scout. It's a one white, or one green, 3-3. Three, three. When this card is put in the graveyard from the field, put one one wind cat resonator onto the token in the field. So, a sal uh, another sack outlet for sure. Yeah. Next up is Griffin, Racing Across Darkness. It is a black, green, and four for a 12 12 flyer. When this card enters your field, put the top two cards of your Magic Stone deck into your field. So, this dude is a reprint that has come back finally, and he was really disgusting back in the day. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be just as bad now because there's other silly cards that bring him into play. So he costs six, yes, but you're really never gonna play him for six yeah. unless it's just late game and you have nothing else to do. Exactly. But that's just how it is. Next one is Skeleton Horde. It's one darkness, four, four. When this card is put in the graveyard from the field, put a one, one darkness skeleton resonating on the field. Just another yeah. sack outlet. We're making all the little, bringing all the little dudes that make extra dudes to sacrifice them. Yep. Just like this one as well, Calico Cat Shikigami it is one green for a four, four. Treat wins magic stones as light magic stones. Uh, they can tap for white. That is not really necessary, but it's there. Um, tap, put target non-magic stone card in a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. When this card is put into a graveyard from the field, put a 1-1 cat into play. So you can refill your deck if you need to by putting certain things on there, or you can stop them from doing the same graveyard shenanigans. Yep. All right, the next one is Death Scythe, the Regalia. It's a black and a green. Of course it has Mythic, and then you can tap, produce two wills of any combination of uh, green and a black. 
Spend this only on God's Arts, Mage Arts, and cards from the graveyard or ability cards. Active abilities of cards in a graveyard. So that's super cute. And then remove three cards in your graveyard from the game. Put this card from the graveyard into your hand. Yeah, so it's a returning one that keeps just, as it says, keep returning. So regal your break. Don't care. I don't care. Just keep putting it in my hand. And yeah, the fact that it's cards from a graveyard. So just any cards that you can cast from a graveyard. It works. Yeah. Next up is the End of Friendship. It is a black and a green quick cast mage art. As an additional cost to play this card, banish a resonator. Your opponent banishes two resonators. So this is one of the cards you're going to be using to sacrifice your little dudes with, whether it's Mikage, Rhea, the Calico Cat, or the Skeleton Horde. Yeah. Because you're not... I mean, yeah, you're going to lose a little bit of power, but you're not going to lose a dude because you, you lose that dude and either get it back or get an extra dude to replace it. And the fact this has a uh, quick cast is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, part of true power. It's a darkness and a green. Remnant as well, and, and it's a mage art. As an additional cost to play this card, banish resonator, which is simple. And then target, put a target, put target darkness resonator from your graveyard into the field. So this is how you're playing Griffin. Sick. Yeah, turn one little dude, turn two this thing, get a Griffin. Hey, I get extra stones on turn two. Hey, and then it has remnant, so if you want to do it again, you can. Yeah, pretty good. That's ridiculous. Uh, next up is Soul Hunt, one of my favorite cards ever printed. It is one black. Each player banishes a resonator, then each player discards a card. Don't care. I, I will kill your things because I can. Like, that's just, this card's so strong early because you're like, hey, you're one dude that you want? No. Get out of here. And you lose a card from your hand. Yeah. You don't care because, again, you're playing from the graveyard. You're going to get your stuff back. Yeah. So, I mean, it kind of hurts you, but not really. That's when you ditch Griffin and you're like, hey, what's yeah. up? Yeah, cool. I'll set up for my griffin to be in the yard. Thanks. Yeah, and it's so funny because, like, you don't need a resonator to banish. So if you have no dudes, you're like, okay, pay one second. <laughs> yeah, cool, great. Don't care. All right. Bresh what? Freakias? Yeah, Freakias. Freakias. Stupid soft and hard seas. Yeah. Freakias Journey. One green, quick cast, and mage art, of course. Choose one. Target any number of chance spells for each... For each spell, its controller may pay one. If they don't cancel it, or if they put one target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your deck, draw a card. Yeah. It's there to yeah. give you some sort of control on counter spells. That's mainly why it's there. I mean, if you need to re like return some things, you can. Yeah. So it's not too bad, and sometimes paying one is actually rough. Yeah. And the final card of the main deck is Awakening of the Undead Lord. It is a green and a black quick cast mage art. You choose one. This card deals 4 to damage to each resonator. You gain life equal to the amount of damage dealt this way. Or banish any number of resonators, draw that many cards. Or put an XX Darkness Zombie token into the field where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. So, the only thing with this dude is you do have to banish all your dudes at once. So you can't like banish a Calico Cat and banish the token as well to yeah. get the XX. Or the, to draw extra cards. So, that I'm sorry, you can't do. But, this card's kind of like a... I want to try it as like a pseudo win condition if I need to. If I need to make a big XX dude because I'm going to have a lot of cards in the graveyard because I love little dudes. Or you can just draw cards or do whatever. It's yeah. it's a very good utility card. I don't have a lot in here, but I just wanted to see what it would do. Yeah, especially since, like you said, if you just keep drawing all your tiny dudes and you draw this, then you're just like, okay, cool. Just I'll draw a bunch of cards to get what I need to. Yeah. And then the stones, they're really simple. We have four Ataractes Memorias because we're playing Green Black. Yep. Uh, we put Magic Stone of Black Silence because we're playing Green Black, which is the dual stone. And then we have one Wind Stone and one, Mag and one Darkness Stone. So to even it out for even 10 and they're split right down the middle because we're really just playing Black Green. Yep. You don't need, you don't need anything else. That's it. Uh, it, it does seem really fun. I can't wait to play it just because we're going to be killing all the creatures all we can and cheating things in the play from the graveyard oh yeah it, it's essentially how black green plays is just by all kinds of life and death cycles of killing things uh that the deck list will be down below check it out and we will see y'all again next time goodbye also guys we just remind y'all to hit that like button subscribe to our channel and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content make sure you click that bell it'll give you all the notifications you need with that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. 
Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.